thanks for your time. As always, Boyan, what what uh, was the the mood? What was the feeling on on the pitch? Uh, you're, you're 70 minutes into this game. Uh, you're down by a goal. Uh, can you just talk about the character that this team demonstrated uh, when it had its backs against the wall, please? Yeah, we knew it that uh, that uh, we needed a goal. Uh, we feel it that we were like uh, better than them. Uh, so. We believe it. We believe it. Like uh, we always said, uh, we have uh, we have a good team. We have uh, good players, uh, good staff. Like it's been uh, it's been like difficult days. Uh, I don't know if the people realize uh, what uh, this team did the last two months. And uh, I know that it's only about what you do on the field. Uh, but I think this team deserve deserve to be in the in the playoff. We. We show it. We show it today. We show it uh, a lot of a lot of games that we play. This team is strong mentally, physically, emotionally. So that's why that's why we won today. Uh, next question is from Jose. Jose, can you ask your question in uh, in English, please? Absolutely, not a problem. Okay. Um, Bajan, uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, Romel Kyoto. Um, obviously, it, it was a very special game for him because of everything that's going on in, in Honduras with the hurricane. Um, how satisfying it is for you as a teammate to see um, Kyoto succeed in a very special, a special game for him? Thank you. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's one of the points that I mentioned uh, before. I mean... It's been tough. For, it's been tough for this guy. I don't want to speak uh, for him. He will say if if he wants. But I mean, all the images uh, images that you see from Honduras was not nice. Um, like he has family there. He has friends there. He's from there, and it's been close in one hotel, You know. So I'm really happy for for him because, like. Um, he put uh, this difficult thing on the side. He went to the field. He did uh, an amazing job. Uh, he deserved the goal, the assist, the win as a team. So, really happy also for him. Adi Rafael, right now. Thanks, Pat. Uh, hey, Boyan. Uh, what's really nice about this win is that Thierry Henry used uh, uh, players that he hasn't used in a while, like uh, um, Rod Fanny, like Anthony Jackson Amel. How important is it for the group uh, to see that everyone is involved and everyone, everyone will have his chance to prove and to, to prove himself on the pitch? Yeah, um, that's, that's the job. I mean, that's the thing that the coaches uh, have to do. Uh, like uh, he 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 believe in his players. Uh, uh, we believe in our players. Like all the team believe in in the players that we have, and uh, and the guys that they like they go to the field. They always like do good. Also, like um, I'm happy for Mason today for the assist that he did. I mean, it's not easy when you come to a new team and, uh, you know, like uh, we were, you know, like fight, uh, fighting to go in the playoff. He has not, he, had, he didn't play too much. So today he came on, like he did a good job. He did a good assist. So that's, that's what it's about. Uh, everyone counts. Um, and, uh, and, and that's why Impact Montreal is in the playoff. Julian McKenzie? Hi, Boyan. Uh, congratulations again on uh, making the playoffs. Uh, up until today, this team had yet to win a game when they found themselves uh, playing from behind at halftime. And of all games to, to, to kind of finally get a winning column on that record, it's the game that gets you into the playoffs. Uh, could you just put into words, as best you can, uh, how good it is to, to be able to win a game coming from behind? You guys were down 2-1 at one point in the game. And not only to just win the game, but to put yourselves in the playoffs. Yeah, uh, it's it's the best feeling. Uh, you suffer, but in the end, is is the best the best thing. Um, like we start the game, considering the goal. Uh, like we had a and like a, an important week. Every day uh, was like uh, important days for us to work good in the training. 
we knew it that um, that we needed to came to come here for a win. So, like I said, we start like conceding a goal. We came back, we concede again, uh, and then you know we won. So that's that's the game. It shows you it's ni- more than ninety minutes, and you have to be on. You have to be like believing, especially today. So the teams. The team uh, did it, and the team deserves. Uh, is there another question for Boyan? No. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, hold on. On last one, Nilton. Go ahead. Thanks, Pat. Hi, Boyan. Uh, those last weeks, you uh, you look uh, sharper physically. Is it uh, something that uh, uh, enjoys? Uh, it's a bit uh, of. Um, let's say a, a satisfaction for a, uh, going on on this season? Uh, yeah, like I said, for me, um, I want to improve every day, every game. Um, um, physically, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, um, like with, with normal tensions that you have in your body, uh, with, you know, like, a lot of games like that we play a lot of trainings that we have but uh, but this this is like this is the the sport and um and you need to take care of your body so now uh, like i always do i'm feeling great um, um i'm enjoying uh playing i'm enjoying uh winning and uh, and now i'm enjoying to be in the playoff uh in the mls so that's that's uh, that's the best thing thanks for your time Oyan. congrats again Thank you. Et uh, Romel Kyoto va suivre. Romel Kyoto is, uh, is next. So we're going to have a translation. On aura, uh, la traduction aussi pour uh, les propos de Romel. Hola, Ramel. Wow. Do we have a question for him? Est-ce qu'on a une question pour uh, Ramel Kyoto? Julian McKenzie. Hi, Ramel. Uh, congratulations on uh, on making the playoffs. I see uh, you have the your flag in the uh, <laughs> in the shot there. Uh, just wanted to know how it feels to to get this victory. Uh, with everything that's been going on in your home country, or your teammate Boyan uh, spoke a bit about that. Uh, felicidades por uh, clasi- la clasificación, Romel. Uh, uh, se aprecia cómo viene con la bandera de Honduras. Uh, Boyan, que estaba antes, uh, hizo unas, uh, contestó unas preguntas sobre la situación de tu país y si puedes compartir con nosotros un poco lo que se siente después de la clasificación y todo lo que está pasando en tu país. Eh, bueno. Muy contento por la clasificación, eh, muy orgulloso de este grupo, de este club. Creo de que lo peleamos hasta el final y creo de que hemos logrado un objetivo que era muy importante para nosotros. Y pues bastante triste por la situación que, que se vive en mi país en este momento. Confiando en Dios pues de que toda la gente que ha sufrido sobre, sobre este huracán que puedan estar bien lo más pronto posible. Eh, de mi parte, pues, eh, mandarles mucha fuerza a mi país. Estoy acá para, para lo que ellos me necesiten. Y, y bueno, eh, solo queda, pues, eh, seguir confiando en Dios. Uh, so Romel's response was that uh, he's obviously very happy for uh, uh, qualifying into the playoffs. Uh, he's very proud of the group and as well of the club. Uh, really, as a team, they fought till the end to reach the objective that was set from the beginning. Um, but obviously, uh, within, he's very sad about what is currently happening in, in his country. Uh, he really trusts that uh, uh, God, that all the people who are suffering can be better. Uh, and he wants to send his people all his love and support, uh, as well as his trust in God. Uh, Jose, you have another one? I think Romel would like to add something. Oh. No, y también pues... Agradecerle también pues a, a todos los compañeros eh, 
que han sabido pues de la situación, que, que me han estado apoyando, me han estado dando fuerza. Agradecerle a Wayan también por sus palabras, creo que ha sido, ha sido un gran compañero, al igual que todos los demás, desde, desde mi llegada acá, me ha apoyado mucho. Um, so Romel also wants to uh, uh, particularly thank his teammates and the staff who since uh, uh, what happened in Honduras have been very supportive towards him, uh, given them their, their kindness and showing concern. And obviously uh, he wants to give a lot, also a lot of uh, appreciation and uh, a love to Boyan for his kind words. And uh, uh, he is someone who has helped him tremendously since uh, uh, he arrived and uh, they get along very well. And it's somebody who's important uh, uh, for you know, the team, but also for him personally. Uh, Jose Rodriguez. Um, thank you. Do you mind if I ask in Spanish? I no, it's, it's fine. Okay. Uh, Romel, bueno, obviamente es un, un día especial para todos los hondureños. Eh, quería preguntarte porque te vi una urgencia cuando anotaste el gol eh, por buscar tu bandera. Eh, la pediste a tus compañeros. ¿Qué sentiste en ese momento? Y si en lo que llevas de, de estos días, ¿has, ¿has podido visualizar lo que significa representar al país en un momento como este? Muchas gracias. Sí, no, este, se, se significa mucho para mí, pues, este, poder representar a mi país. Eh, al momento del gol, pues, sentí mucha satisfacción. Ya me había preparado para este momento. Eh, Ya había pedido pues que me consiguieran la bandera por si anotaba. Tenía, tenía la fe que, que lo iba a lograr, que íbamos a ganar y gracias a Dios se nos dio. Porque sé que mi país está pasando una situación muy difícil y pues ellos están en mi mente, no me puedo olvidar de ellos. Um, so, uh, the, the question was, it's a very special day for Honduran people. So obviously, uh, you noticed how Romel uh, felt urgency to find his flag after scoring the the third goal and uh, asking him what did he feel in that moment uh, and what did it represent to him to, uh, you know, um, represent his country and uh, uh, put them in as part of this moment. So uh, Romel answered that it means a lot to him to represent his country, uh, uh, especially in a delicate moment like now. He felt a lot of satisfaction, but also uh, pride going to get uh, his flag. It's something that he had uh, uh, managed to already uh, get a flag given we were out of town and he managed to get one and he was trusting that he was going to get that goal uh, for his for the team, but also for the people of Honduras. So, uh, and to demonstrate as well that he doesn't forget them, although he's uh, he's been uh, away from his country for a few months already. Herb Zorkowski. Thanks, Pat. Uh, thanks for your time, Ramel. Uh, how is an athlete uh, able to block out uh, distractions as you were able to today when, when there's so much going on uh, at home. And, and I, I guess it would be anticlimactic to say that that's obviously the biggest goal you've ever scored in your career. A la pregunta es cómo un deportista consigue uh, con tantas distracciones y cosas que están pasando en tu país uh, y seguramente en tu entorno uh, aislarse de todo esto. Uh, para conseguir obviamente la clasificación, pero anotar un, un gol que tal vez es uno de los más importantes de tu carrera. Uh, entonces, esa es la pregunta. Pues es bastante difícil. Se viven, se viven unos días bastante duros. Uno trata pues de, de ser muy fuerte, de, de, que no se, de que no se me note pues de que, de que estoy triste. Ya tra cuando trato de entrenar, trato de hacerlo con mucha alegría. Eh, Con el, con siempre con la misma intensidad y a la hora de los partidos pues igual trato de olvidarme pues eh, un poco de la situación pero también tengo en cuenta de que tengo que luchar pues tengo que, que sacrificarme porque tengo gente pues que me está viendo gente que, que, que estoy representando representando un país y sin duda alguna pues de que este es uno de los goles pues podría decir que, que más importante para mi carrera uh, so uh, Romel's answer is that obviously it's something that's uh, very difficult to achieve. Uh, um, every day is a bit more difficult and obviously for him, uh, he has to be brave, strong and try not to show, you know, his sadness. Um, and he rather chooses, you know, to, 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 to train hard, to be focused on his craft and to try and find those little moments of happiness uh, uh, with his teammates. Um, but 
he also understands that he has to fight and he has to sacrifice for his people, for the team, and understanding that obviously some people are going through very difficult times and that he, you know, he needs to be better uh, uh, and he needs to be up to uh, the level of uh, um, intensity and uh, um, care that these people require. And I think we have one last from uh, Michel Lamarche, Canadian Press. Est-ce que je dois poser ma question? Est-ce que je peux la poser? Posez en français, en français, puis français, euh, oui. Okay, parfait. Moi, tout ce que je veux savoir par rapport à, à la, la situation au Honduras, en fait, c'est comme deux éléments. Euh, D'abord, est-ce que la région euh, de laquelle provient Rommel est touchée particulièrement? Est-ce qu'il y a encore de la famille là-bas? Comment sont-ils? Est-ce qu'il a des infos qu'il qu pourrait nous donner là-dessus? Rommel, la pregunta est... Uh, uh dirigida hacia la situación en Honduras uh, para entender un poco si la región de tú donde eres está directamente afectada por esa situación, si, si vos tienes familia allá y, y qué tipo de información tienes que puedes compartir con uh, la gente sobre, sobre esa situación. Bueno, gracias a Dios, mi familia se encuentra bien. En la región donde, donde ellos están, pues... Eh, no se, vio, no se vio muy afectada, pero estuve varios días preocupado porque eh, no podía hablar con mi mamá. Eh, estuve como cuatro días sin hablar con ella. Y fue bastante duro, pues, porque el partido ya, ya se presentaba. Entonces, gracias a Dios, a tiempo logré hablar con ella y, y me pude sentir un poco más tranquilo. Pero es bastante duro lo que se vive en Honduras. Creo de que ya hacía años pues no se vivía algo así entonces me duele mucho pues todo lo que está pasando allá ver gente que, que tenía sus cositas sus casitas y que y que lo han perdido todo pero bueno Dios es bueno en todo momento y sé que, que toda esa gente que ha perdido sus cosas pues Dios le pueda volver algo mejor Um, so Romel's answer is that, uh, thank God, his family is, is doing well. Um, the region where he's originally from, you know, hasn't been too affected by uh, the current situation. Nonetheless, uh, you know, uh, in the first days that uh, um, he heard about the situation, he wasn't able to contact with his mom for four days. And obviously, uh, the game was coming up and, you know, he had to kind of uh, uh, deal with a situation that was very delicate, not being able to to know how his mother was doing and with the game coming up and him trying to focus on, on that. So um, just a few days before that, he was able to, to, to locate her, ha have the chance to speak with her and uh, to remain focused. So, you know, he's very aware of how difficult the situation is for the people that are there. Uh, he's deeply affected. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he's saying, you know, these people lost everything, uh, their houses and, uh, tries to remain positive, saying that God probably has something better coming up for them, but that he's uh, very saddened by everything that's happening and uh, wants to show his love and support to them. Thank you very much, uh, Romel. Thank you. Thank you. Merci aussi pour uh, la traduction. Alors voilà, c'est ce qui complète uh, la conférence vidéo ce soir. Merci tout le monde. Thank you, everyone. Uh, bon dimanche soir. Have a great evening. Thank you.